Okay, so welcome. We have a guest here. He's actually a visually impaired flutist. And his name is Samuel Gabriel. Hello, Samuel. How are you doing? Hi. Good, to you, Samuel. good to have you, Samuel. It's always good to have you. Now, the reason Same why here. we have Samuel here is because this today is International Day, International Day for Persons Living with Disabilities. And, you know, the theme for this year is basically something in the line of the United Nations 2030 agenda that involves leaving no one behind. So we're looking at inclusion of visually impaired people. So maybe we'll start with that, Samuel. Um, from your perspective, you've been living with this. You've been a visually impaired person for how long now, first? Uh, let's just say since 2014. How did that happen? Um, I actually had um, glaucoma after swimming, um, after a swimming competition. That was 2009. So it wasn't an outright blindness. It was actually a gradual deterioration. So I got blind in 2014. Okay, so and how has life been? Living with this? Um, initially, it was a kind of living um, hell. So, to you, I became realistic with myself. Okay. Uh, and I just had to move on. All so, right. concerning you playing the flute, were you doing that before this happened or after this happened? Uh, I started playing the flute in 2013, and before the flute, I was playing the piano. That was um, Flag 2011. Oh, nice. Let, let's talk about the transition moment, the moment where you finally realized that you lost the, your eyesight. Sure. How was it for you, and what were, what were the changes that happened in your life? Mm, initially, I was being discriminated against. And even up to this point in time, well, I just have to prove um, them wrong by um, Focusing on by my uh, by attacking my challenges by converting my obstacles to um, opportunities. And I think you you did that by actually getting involved in the competition recently. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, um, and how was that? Um, of recently I, I qualified for the finals of um two so Nigeria talents, um, which will take place um on the twenty first of uh, this month at Tesimbangu. Sorry, TPS. Um, Tafa Bangla Square. All right. So I'm really glad that you mentioned, you know, the fact that you had been discriminated against, you know, when you first realized that you had lost your eyesight, and even up until now. Now, I want, us, I want us to have this conversation because the theme for this year is basically um, an inclusive, equitable, and sustainable development as part of the United Nations 2030 agenda, which involves leaving no one behind. In what ways have you been discriminated against, you know, and how would you want... People, how, what changes would you want to see to make you feel more included in life? Okay, um, on the level of competence, um, an average Nigeria would like to see, um, even if one lost his um, last finger as a disabled person, as one that um, is not able to do anything um, as a beggar. So on that um, level, or that level of stereotyping, stereotype, um, I've actually been um, discriminated against. Okay. Um, so, but I just have to prove them wrong. So you basically have, have not yourself. gotten jobs because of your eyesight. I'm self-employed. What do you do? I'm actually into music. I play the flute and the piano. Okay, great. So I'm also a rapper. All right. Okay, great. So, what would if you had the opportunity to speak to the government very quickly? What changes would you like them to? Would you like to see for people who are visually impaired and all people living with disabilities? Uh, uh, my um, discussion won't be limited to the, those with those um, disability. Um, I would just like to advise the government or to create a discussion with the government to how to make life um, um, living, um, how to make life better, uh, for, better Nigerians. For, for Nigerians. Uh, how to elevate the plight of the poor, to create some enabling environment for the SMEs, for those that are actually trying to struggle. So, and um, why doing that? Also, to, I would like the government to sensitize um, the Nigerians um, not to, to uh, um, not to so basically, not to go okay. stereotypical. Yeah, not on to go stereotypical on, on, people on the, the people with disability. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I actually commend um, Governor Anbody for that. All right. We look forward to seeing more 
people being involved and more people showing love and as well as not like he's mentioned not discriminating look at the theme for this year including people who are living with disabilities so that we can meet the 2030 sustainable development goals thank you so much samuel for joining us thank you how can people follow you on social media um I'm samuel gabriel's phoenix on facebook and oh. samuel underscore um, Gabriel's on Instagram. I'm Samuel Phoenix on Twitter. All right, brilliant. All right, Samuel will be wrapping up the show for us as he plays his flute, <laughs> and we'll see you again tomorrow. Okay, All right, so the floor is yours, Samuel. Okay. To enjoy more of this our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.